Hello, I wanted to talk about the features and basic setups that you can have with our 5 volt to 170 volt Nixie tube power supply. In fact, I have a power supply here in my hand. You can see there's the input comes in here. It's a USB connector, micro B connector here. And then there's a 5 volt pass through that can go to external circuitry. And then when the enable pin and enable pin gets pulled low, it will also output 165 volts. Now that's the nominal output voltage. And for powering things like an XC2 power supply, well, right here. Now in this setup right here in my hand, I actually have a jumper between N enable and ground that allows it so that this will always output. As soon as power gets applied here, it's going to output to 170 volts or 165 volts precisely. Now this is the second setup and this is an actual setup using our the ETA Nixie tube clock, a, a topic of a previous blog that I have on my site. I'm actually running some test software here um, up on the screen that's allowing me to look at particular digits um, and help with um, help with contamination on Nixie tubes and help fix them. It's, that's part of this te testdigits.py um, uh, program that is actually on the GitHub um, a site for the AT Nixie tube clock. But in this case, you can see I have a two and a half amp power supply that's coming in here and powering the Nixie tube power supply. And that power supply is outputting 165 volts for the Nixie tubes, but it's also outputting five volts for our Raspberry Pi Zero, which is right right over there. In fact, if I go ahead and use my multimeter and look at the output voltage here on the powering these six Nixie tubes, we see 164.9 volts shown there. Now, with the test digits program, or through some whatever program you're running, in this case I'm using the test digits program, I go ahead and turn off my power supply. And just as that's turning, that's controlling that N enable pin. And so now you can see that I only have 4.8 volts uh, showing right there on the output uh, associated with that. I go ahead and turn that back on and it turns back on at this stage. So that's one of the setups you can have. You don't have to do it this way. In fact, that's why we uh, supply a jumper when you purchase one of these okay, uh, supplies is that I have this jumper in on this one and as soon as I'm turning it off over here, there's a switch on this, uh, this USB supply that I can turn that off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and then turn this back on with that switch and you can see that it has 165 volts on the output there. Now I'm using two and a half amp uh, supply because I needed to power the circuitry associated with my Nixie tubes and also the Raspberry Pi Zero. You could run this supply off of much lower amounts of current. Um, you could do something like a one amp output USB supply that could also do it too. Um, we recommend though, if you're going to do external circuitry or a lot of Nixie tubes, that you go ahead and, and increase the current up to, you know, two and a half amps to get you the full current output capability of the supply, which is around 20 milliamps total. Hope you enjoyed this. Of uh, the short discussion of our 5 volt to 170 volt Nixie tube power supply.